Gypsy moth is a devastating pest that threatens our environment, economy, and the beauty of our landscapes by defoliating and killing trees. You will find it most often on oaks, aspens, birches, and willows. To identify gypsy moth, keep these facts in mind. In mid to late spring, gypsy moth caterpillars emerge from fluffy egg masses. As they mature, they become easily identifiable by their distinctive hairy bodies, yellow head, and a telltale pattern of five pairs of blue spots followed by six pairs of red spots along their back. Full-grown caterpillars will reach about one and a half to two and a half inches in length. Look for them on or near potential host plants, especially if defoliation is observed and leaves have been devoured down to the midrib. By midsummer, the caterpillars pupate for about two weeks before emerging as adults. Adult males are tan to brown with dark wavy bands and are about one inch long and one inch wide when not in flight. The larger flightless females are an off-white color and are about one and a quarter inches long and three quarters of an inch wide. Midsummer, females begin to deposit their distinctive fluffy egg masses on trees or other outdoor surfaces. These range from brownish orange to white in color and remain through winter. There are a few lookalikes which may be confused with gypsy moth. The fall webworm caterpillar is distinguishable by its lack of blue spots. The tent caterpillar by its blue stripes and white spots, and the morning cloak butterfly by its spikes and lack of blue spots. If you think you have found gypsy moth or signs of its presence, please document and report your find to local authorities. Thank you for helping to protect our trees and forests.